An NGO Neuro Foundation, Nigeria, has empowered 4,306 farmers across three local governments in Adamawa State. This is Hank, Gombe, and Michika uh, to help them boost uh, food security and food production in the state. Details in this report. The intervention include food processing machine and post-harvesting equipment, which was founded by Gay's Global Foundation. We gather here to celebrate a remarkable milestone in the journey of community resilience and agribusiness development. It is my absolute honor to address you on this momentous event that marks the beginning of a new down in economic productivity of Adamawa State and the productivity of our farmer organization also known as the secondary cooperative. First and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the donors, the German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, BNZ, and our co-implementers, the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIZ, for their show of true partnership, support, and funding of this project that economically empowers our people and especially the underserved communities and people of Adamawa State. Governor Amadu Umaru Fintiri, represented by Commissioner of Entrepreneur, Mr. James Ilia, thank Nuru Foundation Nigeria for the intervention and promised them of government support and other NGN organizations who will help to fight hunger and poverty in the state. I would like to say that you've been working to be part of today's event. It is indeed a privilege, and I want you to see it as such, because out of the thousands of farmers and businessmen and women in these communities, you were selected, trained, and being empowered today. You are therefore expected to make maximum use of the kids that will be given to you for the betterment of your life and humanity in general. I also want to appreciate the organizers and sponsors of this program, Nuru Nigeria, the donor, GIZ, and other development partners for key into this administration agenda, ensuring food security and reduction of poverty to the minimum level. The country detector thanked the people of Adamawa and said, Without you, our incentives will not have been available. We want to empower most, especially women, to improve their livelihood and to improve the lives of people of Adamawa State. Without all of you, um, our incentive would, not, would have been to no avail. So thank, I want to thank all of you, and I hope you will continue in this vein to empower especially women um, to improve their livelihoods, their livelihoods of their families, and um, to improve the lives of the people in Adamawa. Well, I really thank God, I really appreciate Nuru Nigeria and BM, BMC RAT. I say thank you for them. This intervention helped me in many ways. Now, before we are going for a, to a, a far by a town to grant our corn, but now the machine is with us. We can do it at our own convenience and it will bring income to us. I thank God, I thank everything. We thank God, we thank God, we thank Nuru Nigeria. God bless them and God bless all of them. Collaborative efforts among food producers, regulatory authorities and consumers are essential in significantly reducing foodborne illnesses and ensuring a healthier future for all. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.